This Week on Things, Shifter Cards. First up, professional race car driver Mamo Gidley and national shifter car champion Ron White face off to see who will compete against San Francisco stockbroker Brad Schaefer. It's the pros against the amateur with a $10,000 go-kart on the line. Let's race. All right. So hopefully get to get something for uh, my buddy Sabino on at home. They go pretty fast. Wow, it's so slippery. And do we have zero claws in this if they take each other out and get both cards? You don't get to race an investment banker too often. So your gears actually not that. get past. Inside line, baby. You're like taking candy from a baby, dude. You know, I can keep this truck in case he, in case he doesn't make it out. Do I look worried? Do I look worried? Let's race. Yeah, this is 125cc, it's called an ICC motor. It's an Italian motor, TM is the manufacturer, and um, revs to about 15,000 RPM. Uh, it'll do about 125 flat out. They go pretty fast. Gidley! Thanks for coming, bro. Ron. You bet. Very nice good. to see you. Hey, listen, Ron's coming. He'll be coming shortly, and then we'll get you guys going to see who's going to take on Schaefer. Excellent. This is kind of one of those things that uh, you're just going to have to wing, and uh, I don't really know what to expect until I, until I head off down there and, and kind of run the course. Listen, you better you gotta, you gotta get jumping. Schaefer okay. already showed up. Brad's the guy that you're gonna be competing against, and okay. he's starting to get set up. But I need you and Mamo to, to to race. Figure out what your race is gonna be. Okay. Brad, you and your crew can do whatever it takes to win this race. That's fair and honest. But I mean, if you want to utilize your your crew, please utilize them in every way that you can. Did you test this last night? We took it around the neighborhood around 3.34 in the morning. <laughs> Got a few complaints. The last drag racing I've really done was mainly just street racing in a car. Never on my 125 or anything like that for a cart, so it's definitely, it's a lot different. Yeah, can you get that form where, you know, I can keep this truck in case he, in case he doesn't make it out? I get the pink slip for that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't get to race an investment banker too often, so. He's not really a racer. He hasn't really put in his time. I'm sure he was, you know, checking the stock market this morning before he came up here. Whereas, you know, I was loading my stuff in the truck. So it should make it pretty interesting because you're going to have a lot more variables, which makes it a lot more fair because the surface of the track, we don't know what it's like. So what kind of tires you should run, how wide or narrow the back should be, what the gearing should be. It's a little bit different. He comes from a different background, and uh, it's nice to send him home with uh, a little bit less money in his pocket, I guess. I've never raced down a straight line like that. Normally, it's on a racetrack where you have a variety of turns. The longest straightaway of any track I've ever been on is about 800 feet. Mm -hmm. Quarter mile is 1,320 feet. So hopefully you get to get something for uh, my buddies to beat on at home. Get to take it out and jump it or whatever you want to do with the car. Well, this should be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mamo, Ron, 
You guys want to take a second and meet Brad Schaefer? Yeah. Hey, Brad, can you come over and meet these guys? Mamo, Ron, Brad Schaefer. Okay. Hi. Nice to meet you. The way we have to set this up is that these two guys both want to take your cart as you want to take their carts. So, Brad, they need to do a runoff to find out who has the privilege to race you. Because you're going to get more track time doing this, I'm going to let Brad be part of the process. He can hear how you're doing, look at your setups. Let's get this thing going. These two are going to race in about five minutes. We're going to figure out who's going to be challenging you, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Let's do this. Get your guys' race on. John, did you want to maybe demonstrate what the Vega White would, would have done in terms of the compound of the tire? These Vega Whites are a much stickier tire, and so, you know, you'll get a, a, a lot to uh, put your out at the start. And when you stop and you turn around, you'll be able to get a lot more traction on it, too. So I go. think we're just going to use these, but that's what we were talking about last night. <laughs> What it's gonna come down to is, is there's gonna be a spot at which, from full speed, full braking, if you do it at the right spot, you're gonna be able to make the hairpin nicely. If you do it, start too late, obviously you're gonna blow by the turn and you're gonna lose time. If you start too soon, then you're gonna bleed off too much speed too soon, and if the guy did his braking later and it was more effective, then you're gonna lose time there as well. So I think the turning around the cone is gonna be the most important part. Because you're gonna be accelerating straight, down and then you're going to be making a, a hard sharp turn at the end you're going to try and brake and slide the thing at the same time sliding sideways actually scrubs a lot of speed uh, it's a pretty efficient way to kind of like get the car turned and also get it to brake at the same time i think this thing's gonna look good in my garage i like this one <laughs> i think i'll take the crg track magics are good but this is because uh, this has a different engine it'd be nice to have a a good complimentary uh, go-kart for the garage. Hey, Mamo, it's time for you and Ron to come to the center point and figure out what, how you're going to race. It's the first negotiation. As you guys know, with all our events, the racers decide how far they go. You guys are going to tell me how far you start, where you're going to finish. How do you want to do it? Well, I want to start all the way down at the uh, finish line on the quarter mile, yeah. come down and flip a U-turn here and go back. It would be better if we run just straight up, side by side, uh, drag down, just like an actual real race. Let's do it. Let's race. All right. All right. So slippery. Well, I'm gonna modify my braking zone. Yeah, it's way up here. Fourth, fifth gear, it's doing that. I think those Vega Whites might have been a good idea. Right from the heart, I mean that. What's gonna happen is the stock is gonna hit, hit the guardrail at about 80 and that'll Seriously. not be pretty. Now, do we, is there a clause in this? If they take each other out, I get both cards or something? I say we uh, Rochambeau see which side we start on. That's what I'm thinking. Paper rock, scissors. Two, yeah, two out of three. three and the uh, winner picks the side. Okay. Okay. That's good. Ron, I want the, you're uh, what you're doing? the inside line. Okay. That's good with you? Yeah. Okay. After this race.
He started breaking real early. Yeah. A lot earlier than he needed to, that's for damn sure. But you know what he did, which is smart, he broke real early, took the inside. Right, 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 right. He's, right, he's right. not gonna go buy him. Right, right. And so you're which guaranteed actually, you're not yeah. gonna pass. Right. Ron won that one. The problem was Mamo overshot it. Congratulations, man. Good job. Great race. Thank you. But I think that the was Ramo, was it pretty much the that got you if you'd had the inside lane? Yeah, the inside lane, the first one the uh, clutch grabbed a little bit, uh -huh. and so I didn't get off the line like I wanted to. And the second one. If I could have got the inside lane in the beginning, I think it would have helped me a little bit. Once you pass that cone in front of someone, it's base, I mean, with that little of a distance, it's impossible to win. Okay. So Ron, obviously you've won the privilege to race Brad. Yeah. So we go back to the start up at the top where Brad's machine is. You'll negotiate your race with him. And this one you're racing for carts. Nice job, Ron. It's a right. great race. Yeah. Good job. Go get it, Ron, huh? But do I look worried? Do I look worried? Question. How come you got the inside both times? Paper, rock, scissors. Both times? <laughs> so basically, you get Rochambeau for uh, what lane coin. you want? Flip a coin. I, I'll take the inside if that's cool. <laughs> Paper, rock, scissors. Uh, coin. Matter of coin. Coin. And I want to lengthen it. All right, uh -huh. with you. You see that? See that, that? That light patch past it? Okay. To that. Not a problem. This is the real deal. Obviously, Brad, you witnessed the fact that Ron won the race, so now it's up to you guys. It can be a brand new race, it's a brand new start, it's a brand new negotiation. Brad will get one, if not two, practice runs just because you've been on the track more. So how, what's the race gonna be? What have you decided on? How yeah, you wanna I wanna track? see that, that light spot, the next light spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Move to there. That's fair? Yes. You're gonna uh, rock, scissors, paper coin. for the, or you're gonna coin toss. Coin is the coin toss agreeable to you? Yes. Okay, so what's gonna happen at this point is Brad's gonna get his gear on. Ron, you'll go make whatever changes you want to make to your car. Yeah. We will meet back in there and we will be racing within five minutes. Okay, good. Brad, let's get All it right. on, boys. Okay, right. we start in five minutes. <laughs> okay, well, give me the inside lane. Oh, you know, what kind of competitor is that? <laughs> let's see how your luck's gone. Heads or tails? Hey, Brad, you gotta call it. Brad? Heads. Tails, all right, good. Way to get all the bad ones out. All right, one more. Edge or tails? Edge. Tails, good. All right, <laughs> we're set. I'm thinking I really, really hope I get that inside lane right now. At this point, I want Brad, you can have one or two practice no, one's runs. Good. One's fine. One, that's oh, it. After his practice run, he'll come back, and that's where we're gonna do it. And then whoever wins that, then you say which position you want, you guys rearrange, and I start you. Brad, after the first race, give me a thumbs up, I do another coin toss, and we roll, okay? OK, 
Okay, uh, Brad's calling it. Call it in the air, Brad. Heads. It's tails. Inside line, baby. Jeez, man. <sighs> <laughs> You'd be directly across from each other. That's the finish line. Okay, Brad, obviously we're at a point right now where we're very open to any kind of negotiation you want to do, including uh, inside position. We want to make it fair, as fair a race as possible because you're going against a professional racer and you're putting your card on the line. If you lose this next race, you literally lose your card to Ron. And you do not want to negotiate for a length at this time. No. Ron? You want to let him have the inside lane for this one race and then coin toss on the next race? Yeah, that's fair. Brad Schaefer's going to take the inside lane on this one, okay? You okay? That was a fantastic race, you guys, fantastic race. We're at the exciting part of, of what we do here, and that's a final race for everything. This is the all or nothing match. How would you like to decide who calls this one? This is an important one. I got bad luck calling the toying bell. You go ahead. And... Okay, please call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, gentlemen. You'll turn around, you'll get in the right position, I will start you. This is for a title race.
great job. This is the, this is part of the race that's the most significant. And obviously, Ron, you won that race. Congratulations, Ron. You're the winner of the shifter cart races. Thank you, Brad. Amazing uh, job. And uh, this is a ten thousand dollar cart that uh, Brad put on the line today, and it's uh, it's history. Yep. So for a stockbroker from San Francisco at Merrill Lynch, that's some incredible racing, and you should feel very proud about what you did today. Brad, very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I couldn't say enough of this thing. I mean, it just ran great and won me a free ride today, so I'm not complaining. I thought I had a pretty good shot at it, a lot better than people probably thought. And um, I guess there's a reason why Ron's the national champion. He definitely uh, he was the better driver.